everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got box number six from the Paper Craft Society. This one has been designed by Christina Griffiths and as always they give you a nice kind of peek to what's going to be inside with the designs that are on the front. So you can see this beautiful watercoloured flowers and that boiling throughout and also in the writing there as well. So it's a really pretty box. So let's get straight into it. So this one says, wow, it's time to play again, Christina. So Christina actually designed the very first Paper Craft Society box. So yeah, six months later, and here we are with the sixth box. So we've got the envelope and then the tissue paper. So I have already had a look, so I just wanted to check, obviously, you know, everything was there and I wanted to have a little, I was too excited to be honest. So keep the tissue paper, because that's always nice. And then we've got our book clip. So this is Christina. I'll have a little look at that in more detail in a moment. So we've got our ink pads. These do come in a little plastic pocket, but I did go and take them out just again to have a little look. I do like these because they stack, but I have made the storage to hold loads of these. So you can hold 40 per drawer. Um, I'll link that up here actually if anybody's interested because it's a really nice project. And um, we'll have a look at those in more detail in a moment. We've got our card there again. We'll look at all this. I'm just going to take everything out. This is the card, you get one every month. This one is trying to decide which colours work together, look to Mother Nature for ideas. I actually do do that a lot, especially when I'm like drawing maybe or colouring a, a tree or looking at like a landscape. I can just look out my window and I've got really nice fields and stuff in front. So it does actually, it's, yeah, it really does help. So this one on the back is guides, a guide to inks. So you've got hybrid, dye-based ink, pigment ink, embossing ink, stays on and distress inks and it tells you about them there and what you can use them with. So it's actually really handy and I say it every time I do one of these unboxings but I always punch a hole and I've got a key ring with them all on there. So good to have those. So then we've got some ribbon, really pretty like lemon yellow there with the polka dots on it and you've got quite a lot on there as well. Then we've got some flat-backed pearls. So these are just your adhesive pearls. And you've got a two, yeah, two sizes there. And then we have this here, which, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm guessing it's to shape your flowers. And uh, it's quite nice with that like ombre effect there. But that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking it's for. But we'll have a look in the book in a moment. And then this is your cardstock. So we have, these have got a very subtle polka dot, a white polka dot through them. So you've got two in the lemon yellow. Then we've got two in that beautiful lavender. And then two in that soft pink, really nice. And then we got two in like this real bright lime, really, really lovely. And then, oh, and then on the back, it's plain. So that's quite nice. So you have the contrast there, the polka dot or the plain. But um, yeah, I really like them. Love these together actually. They look really nice. In fact, all of them go really nicely. So that's the cardstock. And then we've got the ink pads here. So, like I said before, they stack nicely. You've got three here. Let's have a little look. Oh, they look, they look different. Let's have a little look. They're really like higher, much, much more dimension on those. Let me just grab, just grab in my drawer. Let's just grab one. Have a little look. Yeah, it just looks different. See on the sides there? So I'll have to test them out see what the others are like yeah they're all really really it's like they've swollen <laughs> it's like a sponge and um you know they've they've swollen uh, with all the uh pigment in them let's have a look at that one as well these are all tapes though which is actually quite good not that i've had any of the lids come off but it's the first time i've had the little sticky tapes on the side so yeah i mean it's a different pink but you can see just how much more raised so i mean i want to say that there's a lot more i mean when you push on the side there you can see all of the colour so they are they're very juicy which is why I said that when I first opened them so oh, make sure I get the right lids colours on there you're probably watching them thinking Sam that's not right there we go so they're the three with it I'll pop that to one side and yeah we talked about that so that's those pieces there and then we've got the books so we'll look at that in a moment and then we've got our envelope so we have so it's here, have a happy accident, cover it, or have a happy accident, cover it with flower, gemstones, or butterfly. And then don't be too critical of yourself, just enjoy your crafting. I'm always saying that. Glitter makes the world go round. This one's really funny because it reminds me of my mum, because uh, if there's ever a rogue embellishment and I say to her, 
why is that one over there and then she'll say oh I dropped a bit of ink on it or I got a bit of glue there and it's just I've done it as well it's just quite funny so in the first pocket here we have our stamps and the toppers so let's just take that one out there so you've got silver foiling and then that real subtle floral background and you have happy Easter so that's obviously going to be useful for now Easter blessings if friends with flowers I'd pick you wishing you all the wonderful gifts of spring may love and beauty bloom this Easter that's quite nice wishing you an Easter filled with love thank you thinking of you special friend it's your day spring has sprung some nice ones yeah I like that and then you've got these plain toppers here so I imagine you can layer some of these up on top of that but also you can stamp your images and yeah there will be lots of inspiration no doubt in the booklet but they're nice and then this is a stamp set I'm just going to turn over one of these just so we can see there what we've got so you've got these kind of sprays of flowers which will look nice over the plant pot there friends are the flowers in the garden of life on your special day with love happy Easter I like that it's quite a large one thinking of you and then you've got some leaves more lovely flowers and they're all they're not too detailed so they're perfect colour Love the tulips in the vase. Happy Mother's Day. It's another nice one there. And then you've even got the twine with the bow, which will go perfectly around the plant pot there. So, yeah, that's nice. Very pretty. So we'll pop that one in there. And then you've got your embossing folder. And the dies. Now, I put my dies on this metal, on this magnetic sheet. So they don't come with this. They come on a plastic and they're stuck on there. So I just took them off. But I can see how already these are going to coordinate. So you have this die here. Um, which will sit perfectly over there so you can die cut this piece and then you can cut it in half and you can do some really nice effects in fact I've already had a nice idea on something I could do with that so I will try that out and share that with you all but the one that's totally stood out is this I think it's absolutely stunning and I don't have one with this kind of shape to it I've got ones that are very straight just to kind of you know edge your card but this one here you can create such a nice effect and I like that you have the option to have it you know die cut into the cardstock or you can have it to create the edge of a card so you can imagine it will be that way you know that's a five by seven card there and that would be the edge of it but also you could do multiple strips of this you could create a, a really nice window effect actually so yeah I'm really looking forward to using that one because it's just that little bit different and I'm imagining that these flowers here this here would be able to layer on top although saying that there is the dye there as well I don't know but they all all will work they're the same flower um, all of this here and everything so yeah that's really nice and you've also got best wishes now this actually looks familiar I have the I say original I mean from the main collection there is the best wishes but it's bigger so this is slightly smaller and it's always good to have you know even if it is the same die but in different sizes because you'll you always make that project where you'll wish that something was a little bit smaller or that little bit bigger so it's yeah that's that's good I like that one I like the leaf shape as well it's a little bit more more like a bubbly kind of leaf then you've got these kind of ornate decorative pieces you've got a bit of kind of trellis effect there got that swirly edge and then your flowers again these are going to look really nice distressed and that's where this is going to come into use so you'll be able to really you know roll this over them to really create some nice shape and dimension to the flowers so I think that's yep really really nice so pop that one back in there and then finally we have the pattern papers so this is the print on the front of the box really really pretty beautiful watercolored images then we've got this one which is the same patterns but just framed so again really nice and then you've got this one here which again very pretty pattern and then you've got that one there which kind of coordinates with it as well and you've got two so you've got eight eight colored card stocks and eight pattern papers so they do give you a lot there you can make a lot of cards plus you have the toppers there and this will work with any other colors and things that you use as well but um really like this one Let's just roll that back up and we can have a little look inside the booklet here so you'll have a welcome by Christina then you'll have your contents this is where the magic happens or where the magic happens sorry so this is Christina's craft space and then what's in your box so let's just see what it does say for H yeah flower shaping tool so use this flower shaping tool to add dimension to your die cuts used with a soft mat this tool is perfect for breaking down the fibers of your cardstock to add curves and shape we know you we will show you how on page 24 
So yeah, that's good. I like that one. And then all the dies. And now here's the card. So you can straight away see that lovely curved effect there and how they've used the toppers together and that kind of trellis effect, which is really nice. And I love the layers there with this one. But um, those that you know, you follow me, you know I always kind of do something just that little bit different. So my idea isn't there. Let's see if uh, what I'm thinking is uh, anywhere else throughout the the uh, little booklet here. They are nice. I do. I really like it. I love the effect. And that's one thing Christina always does. Is she does lots of layers to her cards. So there's always so much detail. You can see all the flowers there. And the, the leaves are really nice. I do. I like that they're just that little bit more rounded. And there. The round one's nice as well. And then Nikki's done this one here. So she's focused on the stamping and like blending the flowers. So it's nice to use the stamped plant pot there and then actually the die cut flowers. And then we've got this one here and these. It's really pretty, making the heart there. It's a nice idea. And then this is the new product, which if you follow again, you would have seen all of this shown on my channel. I'm going to be featuring the Easter egg ones again soon as well. Um, or the oval, sorry, the oval box collection. No, it's the extravagant egg die set. That's going to be coming out again soon. And this is my favourite. I love these. And then Jeanette. Unfortunately, Jeanette's now left. So it just shows how in, how in advance these are put together. So I'm um, no doubt Jeanette's seen this, but that's a really pretty card. And again, I love that she's layered up the tulips even more. That's really full with the vase and used a little bit of ribbon there. Really pretty. And then there's another one by Christina there. And then she shows you how to shape your flowers and also colouring your pearls. So she's using an alcohol marker there to colour your pearls. I have seen that being done so it's a really nice idea to just buy plain ones and then you can have them any colour that you want. And then here, so Carol, she's created an Easter card there. So it's a nice, it's a clever way to use that, or la the, yeah, that lattice effect I guess. Really nice. And again there's another one there, it's very pretty. And then Christina's top five. And then here we have some designed by Emma and Claire. Again, so these are your quick, there's always the quick makes. So they're really, really pretty. And then that's the end there. So yeah, so my idea is not there, so that's good. So hopefully I'll be able to give you some even more inspiration. And um, yeah, I look forward to that. And I like collecting these. I, you know, I try to share one to two tutorials every month featuring the latest box. So I will get those out and then I collect them and I like to go back to them every now and then and I've pulled things out from them so I might think oh yeah I love the sentiment in that and the the last one that was done by Ruth I've gone to the champagne bottle quite a lot for just other cards that friends have asked me to do and also like the sentiments in that one are really nice there's a nice surprise one which I've used quite a lot so yeah they, they it's surprising how much you kind of go to them because they're just there all together so I really like that so let's pop everything back okay so that is box six I've also found that my ink cubes are starting to really kind of start to form a nice collection now as well and I grab them a lot because they're so small and compact I just pull the drawer out of my storage and they're there in front of me and I've got a real nice variety of colors coming together so this one's all gone out to the subscribers subscribers if there are ever any left they will put them up onto the website so I'll share the links below but if you are you know interested and you'd like to see a bit more check out my playlist I've got all the unboxings on there and I think you've still got a few weeks left to sign up for the next box which is by Helen Griffin and there's already an unboxing or kind of a look inside that box on the Craft Stash website so again I'll share all those links below and I'll be back again soon with another video thanks for watching bye